In this next problem, we are asked to get the product of these three fractions. Again, since we will be asked to reduce the product to lowest terms, it will be easier if we detect common factors which we can cancel before forming the product. For this numerator, we will probably resort to factoring by grouping. And this numerator and also this denominator will probably take out a common factor. I think this is a uh, factorable trinomial. And again, we will probably use factoring by grouping in that last numerator. So for this numerator, we can group these two terms to xy minus xz, a common factor of which is x. So if you factor x from these two terms, you'll be left with 2y in the first term and negative z in the second. For this second group, a common factor is 2y. And if 2y is factored from this term, will be left with 2y, and from the second, negative z. We will leave y minus 2x as is. For this numerator, we'll take out the common factor y, and we'll be left with 2x in the first term, and negative y in the second. As I said, this is a trinomial. I think this is factorable, so let us try factoring this. Uh, we have x and x, positive 2y, negative y. We can check. x and x is x squared. The middle term is 2xy minus yx or xy. And the last terms give, will give us negative 2y squared. Okay, for this numerator, again, we do some grouping here, grouping the first two terms and then the last two terms. A common factor here is x, so if we factor out x from the first term, we'll be left with x, and from the second, we'll be left with negative y. z is a common factor in the last two terms, so we have z times quantity x minus y. And we have a common factor here, which is z squared, leaving us with z in the first term, and then negative 2y in the second. Now, if you look at this as consisting of two terms, if this is the first term and this is the second, you'll see that there's a common factor 2y minus z. If 2y minus z is factored from the first term, you'll be left with x. And from the second term, you'll be left with 2y. Okay, we will retain y minus 2x. Okay, we. 2y minus 2x and 2x minus y are negatives of each other. So you can write this as negative quantity y minus 2x. Here is your positive 2x, and here is your negative y. Of course, the y here. And I'll just write x plus 2y and x minus y. Again, if you take a look at this as consisting of two terms, this is the first term, this is the second term. They have the common factor, which is x minus y. If you factor this out from the first term, you'll be left with x, and from the second, you'll be left with positive z. And we have z squared. Okay, again, z minus 2y and 2y minus z are negatives of each other. So you can clearly see the cancellation which will happen later. I will write this as negative of 2y minus z. Again, this is your positive z, and this is your negative 2y. So we cannot perform the cancellation. So we can cancel this 2y minus z with this 2y minus z, 
x plus 2y with x plus 2y, y minus 2x, y minus 2x, x minus y with x minus y. The negative 1 here with the negative 1 in uh, this denominator. Okay, everything cancelled out. So the final answer is y times quantity x plus z over z squared. So this is the product when you multiply these three fractions.